Welcome back to extra perspective on the impact of the pandemic. One year ago, the U.S. and Mexico agreed to impose travel restrictions to control the spread of COVID-19. They remain in effect, and the government has not said how long that will remain the case. ABC 7's J.C. Navarrete shows us tonight the deep impact businesses, business owners fear is irreversible. How long were you on the bridge? ¿Cuántos horas estaba? ¿Dos horas? Two hours. Tenny Berg, a lifelong El Pasoan and one of the founders of the El Paso Central Business Association, pointing out the long lines at the bridge no longer mean business. The amount of people that can come over are so limited. COVID being the excuse, the reality is uh, policies, public policies have changed so dramatically that we've not allowed Mexican nationals to even come across and access restaurants and shops and families. Curious shoppers, busy streets packed with business. That was a year ago. Now the story of South El Paso is told by signs like these. I've never seen vacancies on South El Paso Street. All of a sudden, there are vacancies on the street. Parking, I had no problem finding a parking place. And there's a, more parking than we need. And that's sad. That is a sign to us that this is a distressed zone. It's a weekday in downtown El Paso, and a year to the date, this area was completely busy, packed with business. It's a very different situation here today, and it has many in the area concerned that the impact brought on by COVID-19 may be here to stay. Border crossings are down exponentially. According to Customs and Border Protection, the number of cars crossing through all ports of entry in El Paso is down 32% with pedestrian traffic even lower, dropping by 45% on the year. Hola, buenas tardes. No se encuentra su manejador. As I speak with business owners, they tell me their revenue is down as they depend on Mexican shoppers for 70% of their business. Nosotros dependemos de la gente de México, el 60%, estamos hablando, ¿entiende? O sea, o hasta más. And says if the restrictions are not lifted soon, he estimates 30% of retailers here will go out of business. Sergio Gonzalez Salcido has worked in the downtown area for more than 25 years. He tells me he's poured his life savings into his business to keep afloat this past year. He's seen friends' businesses shutter their doors, their employees laid off. Carla Leon is one of the lucky ones. The 19-year-old employee is in a unique situation. She's an American and lives in Juarez with her grandparents. Her ability to earn dollars rather than pesos has helped her family make it through the pandemic. Thousands depend on the business generated on El Paso Street. The area so important, the city had just injected $6.4 million to brighten the gateway to El Paso with the Paseo de las Luces project. Now, the fear is that the once-packed streets may never recover from the financial freefall. Will they come back? I mean, now they have learned that there are options in Mexico. Is there a need for the type of business that they had a year ago, two years ago? Is there, are they going to re reminisce, are they going to reconcile to going back to the businesses they supported for 50, 100 years when their shopping pattern has changed and they have discovered the Costco and Sam's that exist in Juarez? That would be catastrophic for El Paso business. Landlords are now faced with a decision, lower the rent even more or look for new tenants who can afford the rent. Those I've spoken with tell me the possibility of closing their doors for good is closer to becoming a reality the longer these restrictions are in place. JC Navarrete, ABC7. And the story you just watched is part of the extensive coverage of the COVID pandemic by the Puente News Collaborative.